Well, good evening everyone from uh, Provence, a bit cloudy here. It's Friday night and the girls go riding on a Friday night. Well, my daughter does and my wife goes with her. It's chaos when they go. Where's the hats? Where's the whips? Where's the body protectors? Where's the boots? Where's this? Where's that? But as soon as they've gone, it's my chill out time. And Friday, I always cook pizzas. I've got my dough just uh, rising on the stove. So that's sorted, so now it's time for a beer. Now, the smart-eyed of you may have noticed my t-shirt. This is courtesy of Todd in uh, Houston, who I went to visit a few years back, and we went to the Dixie Cup, big home brewing competition. So Todd, this one's for you. I only put it on when I have a homemade beer. And the other little concession tonight for a good friend of mine, Ulrich. I've got my special glass, my Erdinger glass. But tonight, I'm not going to have an Erdinger in it. Instead, I'm going to be opening my steam beer that I made uh, ooh, 22nd of November, I think it was. Now, this beer is made completely with barley that I've bought and malted myself, my own hops, and the yeast, uh, this was a Saffliga S23, uh, was uh, the dregs from another bottle. So it's entirely homemade. Um, I haven't tried it yet, I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, two things I know won't be quite correct for a steam beer. The first one is I don't tend to gas my beers too much. Um, I do like a vice beer, very gassy. I like a lager gassy. But my bitters, um, stouts and everything else, I, I like them quite flat. I'm, I'm not a great gassy man. So that won't be right. Secondly, it's the first time I've made a steam beer. I'm not sure what the colour will be like, whether it's correct or not. I don't really care as long as it tastes good. Um, and it probably won't have the right head on it because I haven't used any wheat or corn or anything else. I've just used plain old barley. So, let's see if it worked out. Good pop. It's always a good sign. Nicely poured. Got a very good colour. So let's run the run this light for a minute. Just to gassing is good. Actually, the gassing is very. It's actually quite gassy. It's got a good head. It smells quite malty. I've noticed. That's one thing actually. I've noticed with my. Um, home malted barley. It is, it's nice malty flavour. Um, I don't know whether that's just the barley or the way I'm kilning it. Um, it's got a nice malty flavour. The, the hops in this one, I can tell, but they're, um, they're challenger for the main boil, cascade for the flame out. They do come through quite nicely. It's lightly hopped. It's not, it's not too bitter, but it shouldn't be anyway. Superb. Nice malty finish. Hops come through. Good bittering. That lingering of Cascade. That uh, I really like Cascade. Not, I'm not a great fan of it in uh, you know some of these um, big IPAs. Um, that the Sierra Nevada is just about right for me. But I've used it in some beers as a flame out and it's a truly a, a very good hop that's why I'm growing some here it's very nice <clears throat> it's got good head retention maybe some wheat or corn would help actually the glass suits it the colours 
don't know what steam beer is supposed to be like. I've never never had one, but um, it's an unusual. It's slightly fruity, and that's probably because the lager yeast was um, fermented warmer than usual. Something you know you never normally do with a lager yeast. Um, and I think I, I did ferment it in my beer fridge. I set the temperature on that, so it's it's been fermented pretty evenly. But the uh, gassing's really good. I'm really pleased with that. A superb beer, considering it's made from home malted barley. It's unbelievable. If I was served that in a bar, I you know I'd, I'd make a note of it on my iPhone and uh, check it out when I came came back home like that. It's absolutely superb. So I'm very happy with that. The girls are out. My pizza's dough is made. I'm going to knock up a tomato sauce, sort out some toppings, some anchovies and ham and cured ham and bits and pieces and then uh, I'm sorted. But uh, I think I might even get another bottle in. What do you reckon? Anyway, just to show you can make beer from barley, and I, actually today, I nearly forgot, I went to my feed store where I buy all my animal feed and stuff and uh, I took the guy a bottle of this, the, 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 the guy I normally deal with, and uh, he was quite surprised actually, um, French guy, uh, I don't suppose anybody ever gives them anything as a present, but uh, I said to him, have, have this bottle of beer, I explained how I made it, and I said, it's made from your, your barley, and he was, he was speechless, he's speaking can't make beer from barley and I said actually yeah that's that's what most people do um, and he was really happy so I said to him I want you to drink it and write me some notes and let me know what you think but so and then when I got home I thought crikey I haven't actually tried it myself I better try one so that's why I've cracked one open tonight I think he's going to be very happy with that very happy indeed it is superb And you know what? <clears throat> the Erdinger glass <clears throat> really works for it. I think from now on, I'll always have my steam beer in my Erdinger glass. So, I hope that's of use to people that want to make beer from barley. It can be done. It's not rocket science. <laughs>